What left and right share today is a basically a hatred of civilization, a hatred of capitalism, a hatred of cities, a hatred of what? Of energy, of progress, of innovation, and a hatred of people. I mean, I love living in a city because there are people, because people are producing, people are creating, people are making stuff around me. The left and the right today are unified around wanting to escape back to nature. A return to a simpler life, a more primitive life, a direct connection to nature. How long would Tucker Carlson survive in nature? Tucker doesn't strike me particularly as a nature guy. Cities civilize. Cities are a symbol of civilization. High population density is a sign of civilization. Rome at its peak in 2, 300 AD had a million people. 500 AD, it had 10,000 people. What was better? What do you think symbolizes civilization versus the victory of barbarism? Well, obviously, when Rome was at a million, that was a sign the world was relatively civilized. Trade routes were open. Wealth was being created. There was civilization. When Rome dropped to 10,000, it dropped to 10,000. Why? That was a sign of disintegration. It was a sign of the collapse of civilization, a sign of decay, a sign of the end, the negation of civilization. Uh, yes, a return to nature. Why did Rome collapse, Iran? Was it related to immigration? No, not at all. Rome collapsed because of ideas. Because Neoplatonic ideas infiltrated the Roman Empire through a variety of different philosophers that affected the elites among the Romans, and because of Christianity, which undermined the very foundations of the Roman Empire. Immigration had nothing to do with the fall of Rome. But that's part of the mythology and stories that some people on the right, right like to tell to draw parallels between the two. Christianity killed Rome. But Rome was ready to be slaughtered because it had already weakened itself through a hedonistic and nihilistic philosophy that the elites, the ruling elites, held. They'd already committed themselves to decline. And of course, barbarians using force. They overran Rome, but why was Rome in a position to be overrun by force? Because it had been weakened to such an extent. So mysticism, but primarily Christianity, a religion of weakness. And again, not just Christianity, but generally Neoplaton ideas, Neoplatonic ideas that had corrupted Rome from within. But this is, this is where we're heading. We're heading towards a unity of left and right, a unity of a, a hatred for, for progress, success, wealth, civilization and an adoration of, this is why I say, I mean, could you, do you think that Tucker Carlson could be an environmentalist? Absolutely. And Tucker Carlson could combine a kind of blood and soil patriotism with environmentalism, with religion, And that combination, that combination is what I think is the future of authoritarianism in America. And I think Tucker combines it.
has the ability to put it all together in a way that can really change this country for the much, much worse. Tom says, didn't Rome grow because it accepted immigrants? Yeah, sure, Rome had immigrants. It had immigrants from all over the place. Uh, primarily, a lot of Greeks came to Rome. But all over Europe, they came to Rome. But that's not why Rome fell. It's why Rome succeeded. Rome succeeded to the extent that it succeeded because of its ability to integrate. Diego says, Tucker agrees with Kylo Ren and Supreme Leader Snook in destroying Coruscant in The Force Awakens. The city is too big. <laughs> Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.